Guys, 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 guys. Look what we made. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. All right, welcome back. Oh man, it's been one crazy week. Yeah. Uh, so we started out the week, we had a bunch of stuff to catch up on. We mm -hmm. had a couple of friends that have expressed interest in buying a cutting board or something. So we decided that that's what we would do first. I hope you're excited because we are, because today we're starting the business. Uh, we first got to learn how to build and scale building cutting boards. So that's where we're going to start this week. So while we were building these boards, we were getting really overwhelmed with the amount of stuff to do with the business. Like you, your brain just gets running while you're building them. You're like, okay, this is nice. We're building them, but like, how am I actually going to sell these? How are we going to market them? And you just start thinking about the entire process that has to come along with like building these cutting boards for your business. And I mean, if you guys don't know, we started a furniture business in North Dakota. We had no idea what we were doing, uh, but we were making a lot of money. Yeah, we, we were doing something close to right enough to make it work, but it wasn't super organized. We were kind of just taking like whatever jobs came to us. We were building whatever. We didn't have much like an identity of what we actually wanted to build. But now mm -hmm. that we're in Houston and we're doing this full time, we're trying to stick to a plan. We're trying to, con like, we're, we're trying to build a system to do everything. And we were just getting really bogged down to the point where building these cutting boards, I kind of felt unsafe using the power tools. So we stopped. We came inside and we wrote on the whiteboard a list of like things that we felt like we needed to solve before we could move forward. I, I know that if you've ever considered doing a woodworking business, you've probably been overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that you think you need to figure out. So one of the reasons that this was such a big freaking deal to us is because we have big goals. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't really talked about them a lot on this channel, but like one of our goals is to build an airplane. Jen and I really want to get back into flying as a hobby and... But that's a huge goal and you're, I mean, we're going to need a lot of money to be able to do that. And so I feel like we're kind of putting a lot of pressure on ourselves to like do everything perfectly in this woodworking business. So now that the boards were done, we need to take pictures of them. We thought it was a really good time to just take pictures because a couple of people that wanted the boards, we had they hadn't paid yet. And we thought this is the perfect opportunity to build a website, take some pictures. Figure out a checkout system online so people could purchase them. But then to do that, we needed good pictures to put on the web page. And so, yeah, it kind of all came down to like taking some really good product pictures. Now we get to turn this disaster of a kitchen into a photography studio. Okay. 
welcome to our kitchen. I mean, photography studio. Yes, dual purpose. Um, <laughs> stuff gets interesting when you're an entrepreneur. Yes, um, our house basically doesn't belong to us anymore. We have like wood storage in the living room. We don't have a spare bedroom anymore. It's now the business room. All right, well, studio set up. All that's left now is just to uh, start taking some product photos. And we figured while we had the whole setup in the kitchen going, it was a great time to film a little promo video. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we just needed something. Just, right. You know, it was just, it was stupid not to. These pictures were, in my opinion, were not great. The camera was in the wrong setting. The video yeah. is not that great. I didn't spend a ton of time editing it, so. I mean, they were pretty good. But we got it done. Like, yeah. that, like that's the thing, is we're gonna do it better next time. Yep. We were done with the boards and we looked at our list and we said, okay, now it's time to go through our list and solve all the problems. Well, we looked at our list and we had solved half of those problems. Yeah. Just by focusing on the one product and doing the one thing really well, we solved all these other abstract issues we had about how are we going to sell these? How are we going to take payments? How are we going to build them? How are we going to get our process? How are we going to put on the website together? Wait, how are we going to do the packaging? Just by actually executing, just by actually taking action and building these boards, we figured out all of our problems. Whereas if we would have just sat down and planned, planned for like another two days straight, we would have just been bogged down by all of this information because we weren't sure how it was gonna go until we built it. So that's the lesson for today is just don't try to eat the whole elephant at once. Focus on the task at hand, get it done, and then spend some time reflecting on what you did so you can improve going forward. You can't improve on something you've never done before. Yep. So you gotta put in your reps. You can't read about push-ups. You can't think about push-ups. You can't visualize yourself doing push-ups. You gotta do some push-ups and then reflect on it and then move forward there. And who cares if you don't do it perfectly the first time around? Like that's okay. At least you have something that you can add upon and grow from. And that's just a recurring lesson for us. We struggle with the same thing, trying to put the studio together. We wanted it to be perfect, but we just needed to make progress. So mm -hmm. that's your lesson this week. It's the same one as a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> that's what you get. Because we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> There's an awesome book by Gary Keller called The One Thing, and I haven't read it. It's on the way. I've heard a lot of entrepreneurs talk about this book, and basically it boils down to what's the one thing that if you did it, everything else would be easier. And for us, this week, making three cutting boards really helped solve all of our issues. Our question to you guys then is what is that like one thing that you can do to make things in your business easier? And so let us know down in the comments, like what is that one thing that you know you can do to help you make progress in your business, move a little bit further, or really just like get you going? You're not gonna solve the whole puzzle. You're not gonna mm -hmm. figure everything out, but what's, some, what's one action you can take today that will help move you forward? So yeah, hopefully you found this video entertaining and helpful. We'd love it if you'd subscribe and watch us bumble our way through Houston trying to start a woodworking business. We'll probably have many other weeks like this. <laughs> Hit the like button if you thought the video was helpful. And uh, yeah, let us know what your one thing is down in the comments. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.